Kimberly, what can you tell me about your approach to working with prolapse? First, I want to tell you about this amazing case that I worked on recently with a woman who was prolapsed and had had twice a week physical therapy for six months and mm. wasn't getting any results at all. So she basically felt just as um, bulgy, just as out of control, and just as desperate as she so did. So stop right there and just mm -hmm. tell me what prolapse is, mm -hmm. because a lot of people aren't familiar with what it feels like That's right. and what happens to the body. Right. So a prolapse is when organs fall beneath the place of the shelf of where they're supposed to be. And uh, what it can feel like is people tell me things like it feels like their labia are dangling on the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like there's a bulge between their legs. Mm -hmm. It feels heavy. Mm -hmm. Something just doesn't feel right. Something feels like it's moved from where it used to be. Shifted. Shifted. Yeah. Sometimes people use words like inside out. I feel like things are inside out okay. or I feel like my vagina is spitting out my organs. Wow. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, and um, you know, there's stages of prolapse. So mm -hmm. there's more, you know less severe to more severe. Mm -hmm. um, but what a lot of women don't realize is that they may feel really good postpartum, and their birth was they feel fairly good about their birth, and so they get right back into it. They get back into a heavy duty yoga practice. They get back to running because they mm -hmm. want to get their body back, and they don't realize that actually nothing's really stable enough to support that. And mm. so six to nine months later, they're prolapsing. And to them, it seems like it happened out of nowhere. It seems I like see. it just happened. It doesn't seem like, oh, no, it happened because it's related to birth. In other words, the ligaments that suspend all of those organs to hold them in their proper place are still, are still ooey gooey stretchy That's as a right. result, especially as long as they're breastfeeding. Right. No? Yeah. yeah. The relaxin from breastfeeding, mm -hmm. the whole chemical um, soup that the body's in is just not gelled up again. So therefore... The, the, the things that people do to, quote, get their body back, the running, the exercise, the weightlifting, the going to the gym, right. the treadmill, and all of that stuff, is literally tugging, tugging, tugging with the force of gravity to actually uh, create the prolapse. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, like if you think about the ligaments as rubber bands, and you think about a rubber band that's just overstretched, mm -hmm. and then there's something pulling on the end of the rubber band, as long <laughs> as you're bouncing, 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 eventually that rubber band could even snap. Now, that doesn't happen in body ligaments usually mm -hmm. but that sort of like you know it's like taffy that's just getting softer 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 and you imagine you know sometimes people come into me and they tell me they've gone to a hot yoga class and mm -hmm. I'm just like oh like that's just like the taffy is just getting softer and softer and softer and these poor organs are like hanging on by a thread yes. when they need support and they need to be gelling and they need that support nutritionally they need that support through rest they mm -hmm. need that support through um, exercises that are bringing things into the midline and um, a whole other slew of that are actually supports. creating support instead of creating the lack of support right